हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप ऑल इज वेल फ्रॉम योर साइड नाउ योर एग्जाम इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सो टुडे इन दिस क्लास ऑल्सो वी विल डू द रिविजन एंड दिस पार्ट इज आवर रिविजन पार्ट टू नाउ सी एज वी आर गोइंग टू आस्क यू ओनली एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन सो फॉर रिविजन वी विल प्रैक्टिस ओनली एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन अंडर दिस आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एवरी रेशनल नंबर इज यू हैव टू थिंक एवरी रेशनल नंबर इज वाट ए नेचुरल नंबर एन इंटीजर ए रियल नंबर अ होल नंबर सो वी कैन से दैट एवरी रेशनल नंबर इज वाट अ रियल नंबर वाई बिकॉज वी नो दैट रेशनल एंड इ रेशनल नंबर टेकन टूगेदर आर नॉन एज रियल नंबर देर फोर एवरी रियल नंबर इज आदर ए रेशनल नंबर और एन इ रेशनल नंबर हैंस वी कैन से दैट एवरी रेशनल नंबर इज अ रियल नंबर सो हियर आवर एंसर सी इज करेक्ट नाउ सी बिटवीन टू रेशनल नंबर एज वी हैव सॉल्व सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू इज इट सो विदाउट सींग द ऑप्शन वी कैन से दैट बिटवीन टू रेशनल नंबर वाट देर आर infinitely many rational numbers okay now see decimal representation of a rational number cannot be decimal representation of a rational number cannot be see terminating non terminating non terminating repeating non terminating non repeating so we can say that decimal representation of rational number cannot be non terminating and non repeating okay why the the decimal representation of a rational numbers cannot be non terminating and non repeating now see the product of any two irrational number just you think the product of any two irrational number is is always an irrational number no always a rational number no always an integer no sometimes rational sometimes irrational is that okay just you take some examples and you can say that it becomes sometimes rational and sometimes irrational our next question is the decimal expansion of the number root 2 is the decimal expansion of the number root 2 is so that is what if finite decimal the value is given non terminating recurring and uh, this one is non terminating non recurring we know that the value of root t is what 1.41 so what we have to see that option b is correct which of the following is irrational see here root 4 by 9 that is 2 by 3 root 12 by root 3 so this also get cancel root 7 root 81 so now see here we can say that root 7 is a what root 7 is an irrational number okay so we can say that answer c is correct which of the following is irrational say here so 0.14 0.1416 0. that bar is given there itna a number is irrational if and only if its decimal representation its decimal representation is non representing non recurring so we can say that answer d is the correct answer because it is the decimal expression which is non terminating and non recurring a rational number between root 2 and root 3 you can calculate root 2 and root 3 <coughs> so just you calculate you will be able to write that root 2 1.41 root 3 1.73 in between you see the number so you can say that this 1.5 is correct the value of 1.999 in the form of p by q please you try this question by yourself because we have solved so many questions from question of this type this one is also very simple 2 root 3 plus root 3 is equal to c check root 3 you take common so 2 plus 1 3 root 3 so we can say that answer c is correct now root 10 into root 15 is equal to please you check this you write root 2 into 5 and root and this what root 3 into 5 or you can take root 10 into root 15 you take the common value that is 5 root 6 so we can say that answer b is the correct answer Okay. Now see here. Our next question is the number obtained on rationalizing the denominator. Please, you solve this question by yourself because you know how to do the rationalization. Same thing. One by root nine minus root eight is equal to just you multiply by root nine plus root eight. So root nine plus uh, root eight by nine minus eight one. So just you try to solve this type of question by yourself. After rationalizing the denominator of this one, we get the denominator as Please you solve and write. And our next question: the value of root thirty-two plus root forty-eight by root eight plus root twelve is equal to solve root thirty-two sixteen into two plus forty-eight sixteen into three again four two ja eight and four three ja twelve. So here you take four root two here four root three two root two plus two root three. This you took take two common. So two two ja four. There root two plus this get cancelled. So four by two equals to how much? 
two only hands we can say that answer b is correct please you go through such type of questions and in the next part we will solve some other problems related to it till then have a good day